Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to do a mini haul slash unboxing slash first impression slash review um, of some products and items that I've received recently. Some were gifts, others I purchased. And I'm excited about these products so I wanted to share them with you guys. So if you're interested to see what I got, keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some products that have been all the rave recently They've been trending, everybody's been talking about them. And it's Rihanna's new makeup line, Fenty Beauty. You have to be living under a rock to not have heard about um, her new makeup line. Everyone's been raving about it. There've been so many reviews on YouTube. I myself watched a ton of reviews when they first came out um, because I was so excited to try some of the products. So I'm just gonna go through what I got. Okay, so the first product I got was the foundation. Obviously this is the product that everyone's been talking about because she's been able to come out with 40 shades which is basically unheard of for a brand new makeup line. Um, she's catering for skin tones from the lightest of light to the deepest of deep um, and that's what we're all excited about. Now in regards to picking my shade it was very difficult because the Sephora um, here in Brisbane um, they had sold out of the darker colors because over here in Australia it's so hard to get you know foundation for our darker complexion so when we come across something we buy it. So um, I wasn't able to go into the Sephora store to do a test to match my complexion so I had to wing it and order it online on the Sephora Australian site. Now on the Fenty Beauty side I think you can match your shade based on the foundation you currently use. So I use the Revlon Color Stay um, combination to oily um, foundation. So I put in the shade that I am and it matched me with 430. Now when I started watching the reviews, 430 looked a bit light um, when I looked at the girls who were reviewing it and trying it on. So then I thought 450 because it was the deep but with the warm undertone and I'm generally a warm undertone but when I watched the reviews it looked really red the undertone so after going back and forth watching videos thinking okay I'm gonna go for 430 and then I'm gonna go for 450 like I went back and forth constantly I decided I'm going for 440 now although the 440 is a cool undertone and I'm generally warm I still went for it because some of the reviews I watched people described it kind of as a neutral um, although the 430 was the neutral um, so I was just like I've got to get something went for the 440 it came I did a patch test on the side of my face and it actually matches pretty well so I'm yet to use it um, for a full application um, I plan to do a get ready with me video using the foundation so let me just open the box and show you guys what it looks like that's it here the packaging is really really nice very sleek um, very sophisticated um, I love the frosted um, glass yeah she definitely put a lot of thought into the packaging okay so the next product I got was the matchsticks I got the deep set so it's got the concealer highlighter and contour stick so this is it here once again packaging is bomb I love the structure and shape of it obviously we all know that they're magnetic which is really cool let me just show you um, what the colors look like all right so this is it here you've got the concealer contour and highlight um, I'm interested to see how the concealer works on me it does look a little bit light but yeah we'll see when I do um, the video where I'm applying the products okay so after a lot of deliberation um, I decided to go with the kilowatt duo highlighter instead of getting trophy wife you know the reviews I saw on trophy wife some of them looked really good others uh, I just wasn't sure on my complexion I really don't think it'll work and I don't feel like it's a product I'll use a lot so yeah this highlighter was a more practical choice for me um, so let's see once again packaging is bomb and this is what it looks like the color is really really pretty definitely something I can work with I'm not really big into highlighting um, I always highlight very subtly um, so I don't want anything that's overpowering so I think this will be great and then the last product I got was the lip gloss I got it because everyone said the consistency was really nice it smelled nice um, I personally do love lip gloss putting it over my um, matte lipsticks so 
um, yeah let's see what this one looks like okay so it looks very similar to a lip gloss that I currently have I currently use a Milani lip gloss called Bare Secret um, the color looks similar um, packaging is beautiful like all the products and yes it does smell nice now I'm not gonna put it on my lips today because I've already done my lips and I don't want a glossy finish but yeah I'm excited to try the products when I do um, the get ready with me all right so keeping in line with makeup products I finally decided to get the NARS radiant creamy concealer um, I did makeup for a friend's wedding um, about two weekends ago and um, this is the concealer that she had and just when I was using it on her skin the the way it applied was so beautiful the color was really nice so I went into my local Mecca um, and I went to pick it up I tested it out I really liked it um, I've actually got it on today the color is a little close to my skin complexion but I'm not mad about that because it's not every day that I want you know my under eye highlight to be you know super light or even light so I do like it once again like I said the consistency is beautiful I'm actually wearing it today with the long comb um, tint idol um, I got a sample from the same store and I'm testing it out to see if I like it um, so yeah I really do like the product okay so moving on um, I decided to get myself a pair of key Australia sunglasses the Desi Perkins collaboration um, and once again after watching reviews I decided to go for the high keys um, in the fade black the glasses look amazing they look super expensive this is one of the cases that they offered so I bought this one and I also got the plastic one which is a little bit smaller to fit into smaller bags but yeah once again I love the shape and structure of this sunglasses case so inside these are the sunglasses here just your typical type of aviator shape um, but yeah it's the transition between the dark color into the lighter color that makes it bomb um, so yeah I absolutely love them this is what they look like on very very trendy very stylish and I don't usually invest in sunglasses because I like to switch my sunglasses you know often so I just usually buy them on eBay but this is a pair that I really wanted so I decided to and I'm not disappointed all right so the next item was a gift from hubby when he got here it's from a Ghanaian brand called myth house they do caged clutches um, with the Ankara fabric a very interesting concept so this is the bag that hubby got me there was another style that I really really liked but apparently they um, have discontinued it which is a real shame because I really did like that one but anyway I decided to go for this cage style um, it's a gold finish um, and as you can see it's got the Ankara insert inside so what I like about it is the insert is actually removable so you can wear the bag like this um, this is how I typically like to wear it because I just like the geometry of it all and it's got a handle so you can throw it over your shoulder only thing is and I learned the hard way is if you're putting anything that is small um, make sure you put it in a little bag because I lost my lip gloss um, when I went to a wedding and I carried this bag I didn't realize it had slipped through the hole and I couldn't find it so that's the only thing but other than that I love the bag love the structure um, love the shape and it's just different like when I wore it everyone was like oh your bag that's really interesting so made in Ghana love it and the last item um, was a gift from my brothers I honestly have the most amazing siblings they got me the new Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 8 um, I've been using my Note 4 for a couple of years now and it was literally on its last leg um, and I was saying how much I wanted the new Note 8 so they were here over the weekend and um, they brought me the new Samsung Galaxy Note 8 very very excited I love the phone like this phone is next level everything about it is just amazing obviously what stands out is the sleek design but yeah the phone is just fabulous I'm so excited to be snapchatting and Instagramming with it because the quality on my note 4 was rubbish as you can imagine so yeah thank you so much boys I love you guys thank you thank you thank you all right guys so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video as always don't forget to rate comment and subscribe thank you for all your love and continued support you guys are awesome um, I love you guys and I will catch you in my next video bye